season. And for Kentucky, what have they done? Well, they've just to pass out a double team and still be a score. But a very aggressive scramble the game mentality that Kentucky's up against today against the Aggies. These are two great rebounding. Wallace and the freshman leaves it short off of Oscar and perhaps off. Loose ball corral by Henry Coleman. And he'll take it in, but pick up the on ball defender is topping for a 6'9 guy. Restricted arc and ripped Oscar Sheboy and run it right up the backside off the turnover. Sailor's able to get it inside to Coleman and the ball fake got topping in the air. Yeah, just enough of a ball fake. Got to make him. Now Sheboy had three guys on him on the catch. There's the first make of the game for Kentucky. Comes from C. Dennis down the lane. Nice snifty move with the left. And he is such an aggressive guy. Size, admittedly, but with Frederick and Reeves as the shooters and Wallace running the point. Reeves just into the game and he'll fire his first chance and got it. Interesting as that three goes for Andre Gordon just played the last two as that dunker spot is always a threat for Kentucky but Anderson Anderson Garcia excuse me Mississippi State transfer enters finds top and a little shovel pass and a finish by Reeves push it and make it a horse race in their first eight seconds and this is what I'm talking about you open up the hips and let Case and Wallace get you got two guys on the floor and Frederick and Reeves that had combined for almost career made threes between the two of them so that offense now has drives and on the drive set from the floor to start this game Garcia got deep and is able to convert on top of yeah I can't have that good on the defensive end Mismatch and top and recognize it. First of all, just jump up over the top of a miss. Ball as the lob and Reeves late getting there. Frederick lets it fly. Points in their win against Florida on Wednesday. Their fewest points in an SEC win. Here's Tate. This little stack screening action, a little bit of a butt screen and a front face. guard in the country. Both ends of the floor. Hand off to Reeves. And he gets it. Out to Chris Livingston. Good. Really good find by Wheeler. Taylor floater. That's good over Oscar. Yeah, Taylor just works Wheeler. Here's Livingston, another three. And he strokes it in. Why not? I mean, Texas a is so away. It's just not aggressive, not intense. They have got to hang on to that thing right now on the road. Julius for years playing for Tom Izzo in East Lansing. And he rattles in both programs this season. See, I, mean, I think that's just a basketball play, although Livingston's elbow may have made contact with Dennis's chin. Bowman's only shot one three this season. That's not in his bag, but Toppin works it into Onyenso. There's that post double and trying to get it out. He nearly threw it away. And Wheeler does, and now Coleman running the floor with the jam. We're That's tied at 21. Nothing he can do but just try to save it. And the Aggies right back. Coleman, another drive, and another finish. Tough Top shot. On the mid-range. That is a battle inside with Ware and Marble. Jump wow. hook. Wow, those post guys are having their way. And the Aggies have made six straight. It's marble again. Kentucky, five of 14 from deep. Again, they got beat down the floor. There's the big, and there's the back back possessions. The bigs of a &E. Pressure by Wallace forces the turnover. Reeves has wear. He'll fire on his own, and he knocks it down. Yeah. Toppin left wide open. And he made a new look. Cut off the dreads a couple of games ago. Go with the out of that kid. Yeah, a lot of time they spent together trying to get his grades right. He was with at least six days a week for two hours a day. For Texas A&M is exceptional. Dexter Dennis, former defensive player of the year at Wichita State in that league. Under in the SEC right now, 9.6 a game in SEC games. He's right there at the top of the league. Kentucky only has three. There's about a 90 second stretch there that I think AM decided, you know, we're going to make Kentucky pay for the lack of transition defense. First of all, it was Wheeler transistor, the half court. 
is where the majority of the scoring has come with from the Aggie team is Texas A&M's defense. As you look at the game summary, right down here, Biggs went on a run with Sheboy on the bench in foul trouble of 14 to 16 in the first half for A&M. The majority of those coming on that one run when Shebe had just left the game. Uh, Marble tried to show that he took an elbow around the nose, but Oscar's just struggling. Pack isn't going to come into play because he didn't. Uh, for an explanation. With a severe contact. It, it now remember, there's two parts of it. You, you think they'd stay with an F1 on Marble, too? I think. Or does that change how they judge Marbles? And that'll be a third point for Kentucky. You leave them in with three? I think three Cal minutes into the well, half. Cal has got a. Get a card to get Oscar Sheboy out of the game. He's going to trust Sheboy to play with three personal fouls. Sheboy has he's been frustrated in this. Tom, a little bit of side influence to keep Dennis from getting to the paint. But to get to that point, a little back alley brawl blew Kansas out, 83 to 60. Held the Jayhawks to just just not enough attempts. 56 percent now on. Did in the first half. Kaysen Wallace drains the three. Got to take the open. This lineup is plus seven on the day. He doesn't want a foul. You'll have some clean looks at the rim if you're a &M. Skip pass. Skip pass. Radford banks it in. Frederick gets it inside. And a quick release by Shibwe. Boots is feeling it now. Working on Reeves. Uh, he just slipped one hard shot. Looks easy. He's back on track after struggling offensively. Scott gets blocked, but he follows it up. It takes it hard into traffic. I mean, his heart and motor for the game is exceptional.